Hello, Jessica Frost Ballas here with a video for Chibitronics. Today we're continuing our video series and I'll be teaching you how to create a simple on off battery holder for mailing your card. So let's get started. If you missed the intro video in this series, you can find a link above or in the YouTube description below. Now that you're comfortable with creating simple circuits, I'm going to share an easy way to conserve your battery while it travels through the mail. We'll start with the same template of the three traced holes that we used in the previous video. I cut a strip of cardstock that is three quarters of an inch by two inches. Then I use my scoring board and bone folder to score the strip at one inch. I fold along the score line and use my bone folder to reinforce the fold. This will become my battery holder. Next, I'm going to trace the light sticker shape around the topmost hole using my stencil again. Then I add adhesive to one half of the back side of my battery holder and adhere it to the panel so the traced hole of the light is approximately positioned above the fold. Open the battery holder along the fold like you're opening a book. I'm going to draw my tape lines to show you what's happening before I place my tape. My first line is drawn from the negative point of the sticker to the right side of the inside of the battery holder. Then my positive line starts on the left side of the inside of, of the battery holder, folds over the holder to the top, continues along the top of the holder onto the circuit panel, and then continues across the positive side of the sticker. Next, I apply my conductive fabric tape. I start by placing my tape at the negative point and run it down inside the battery holder. Then I start my second piece of tape at the positive edge of the sticker and run it down towards the left side of the battery holder. I need to make a 90 degree turn to run my tape up onto the battery holder, so I get about halfway down the length of the holder and then fold the tape in the opposite direction that I intend to go. You'll see my right index finger holding down that fold while my left hand pulls the tape onto the holder. This creates a sharp crease without bunching or pulling the tape. I continue running the tape up and over the top of the battery holder and fold it over the edge and run it along the left side of the inside of the holder. Going back to our book reference, I run the tape up and over the cover of the book and onto the inside cover flap. Then I trim off the excess tape. Now you can easily see the two lines of tape. The battery is placed negative side down inside the holder. When you close the holder and press it to the top of the battery, the tape will connect the positive side of the battery to the positive side of the sticker. Next, I place my sticker onto the tape, making sure the negative point of the sticker is on top of the right tape and the positive edge is on top of the left tape. When I insert the battery and close the holder, the LED sticker lights up. When I release pressure, the light turns off. In case you're wondering, yes, both sides of the tape, sticky and non-sticky side, can complete the circuit, so it doesn't matter if the sticky side is touching the battery or the non-sticky side, whichever works best for your circuit design. Again, I reinforce my LED sticker by adding scraps of conductive fabric tape over the negative point and the positive side of the sticker. Since the tape is kind of at an angle now, make sure your scraps of tape or fabric patches don't touch at the top or you'll break the circuit. Next, I apply a little adhesive only to the side of my tape inside the holder on the negative side. I do not add adhesive to the top side so that the flap is free to open and close. This ensures that my battery won't fall out. To mail my card, I take another strip of cardstock and slide it inside my battery holder between the top flap of the holder and the positive side of the battery. I add a little note that says pull so the recipient will know to remove it when they receive their card. This strip breaks the circuit and keeps the light from turning on in the mail. No matter how hard you press, the circuit cannot complete since the tape on the positive side cannot touch the battery. The recipient can also slide the strip back inside to conserve the battery. My particular Firefly design here isn't going in the mail since I'll be using it for all of these circuit tutorials, but when you mail your card you have a few options. 
you can add foam tape around the edge of your circuit panel, making sure you don't cover up the light or the cardstock strip. Depending on the height of your battery and the height of the foam tape, you might need to use a double layer of foam tape to ensure that your battery won't push up the card panel awkwardly. I like using very thin 2016 coin batteries as they only require a single layer of foam mounting tape. Again, this Firefly template has magnets and foam tape with the adhesive backing still on it so that I can reuse it, but hopefully this gives you an idea. Depending on the height of your foam tape, when you remove the strip, the holder may press against the battery firmly enough to light up the sticker without needing any additional pressure from you. It's a little hard to see here, but if I adhered the panels together, I'm pretty sure the light would come on automatically as soon as I remove the strip because there's enough pressure from the foam tape around the edge of the card holding the card panels together. But if you prefer the card to not be lit up unless it's being pushed, you can easily accommodate that with this holder. Adhere small strips of foam tape at the same height as the rest of your foam tape, either single or double layer, around the battery holder, but do not remove the adhesive backing on top. This helps keep the pressure off of the battery and will ensure that the recipient needs to remove the strip and also press down on the area where the battery is to complete the circuit and turn on the light. You can use a variety of stamp sets to create a little push note so that your recipient knows what to do when they receive their card. Here's one more look at the battery holder switch circuit. You can see the positive side on the inside of the holder and then on the top when the holder is closed. And here you can see both circuits. The simple circuit is a great place to start, but the battery holder switch gives you a few more options for conserving the battery for mailing and creating a switch to engage the circuit manually. In a future video, I'll share more options for creating removable battery holders and switches. And that's it for today. Be sure to subscribe to the Chibitronics YouTube channel and follow us on social media for lots of crafty inspiration. And stay tuned for the next video in this series. Thanks so much for watching, have an amazing day, and happy crafting. Bye!